I'm D.W. Clark, spokesman for the Washington State Ferry System. Our thanks to King 5 Television for making this time available to us. Perhaps you saw the front page article right there in Wednesday's edition of the Seattle Times. Did you? Or didn't you? I don't know. 18-inch rule for rear ends might be behind the time. A whimsical headline that masks a grim reality. Some people cannot ride our ferries because part of their anatomy won't fit into the chairs. Their butt, the rump, the cheeks. Now, a lot of us believe that we have cute little rear ends. About like that. Nice, if true. But let's get real. Perhaps some of you have heard the disgusting expression, who gives a rat's ass? So very crude. But consider this. These little fellows would have no trouble fitting their asses onto a Washington State ferry. Can you say that for sure about your hiney? Does your tailpiece fit the 18-inch rule? In order for you to be certain, we've superimposed a ruler. So you could put your butt right up there. Just put it directly onto the screen so you can measure your butt. Have you got your tush up there now? Here comes some fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a very interesting week. I first want to thank the Seattle Times for giving us a handy butt measuring guide on Wednesdays. It's just so great. It also kicks off their new slogan, the Seattle Times, sit on it. I don't know if you knew that. Not to be outdone, the South County Journal from Kent had a guide for measuring your hair, and uh, the stranger had a special insert that had to be specially inserted. So it's very interesting. The, uh, the Macaw Indian uh, whale hunt still drawing attention, but now that the weather is getting cooler, hardly any protesters are showing up anymore. <laughs> of course, the Paws people are still out there. You know, they, they had kind of an embarrassing incident the other day. A whale came up to one of the Paws boats and they neutered it. You know, it was just... <laughs> you know, it's just a force of habit. You know, it was just sort of like... It just happened. Uh, you might have seen this, the Seahawks are trying to make things more interesting for their fans, so they're coming up with new hand signals that we all have to learn, you know, like the wave, we have to learn that. And did you see this one? When, when the defense makes a really good play, we're supposed to go like, like this. Like it means swarm. I'm not making this up. It means swarm. It's like a swarming defense. They, they tried introducing another one, but it was too complicated. It was this one. You know this one here? This, you know that? Yeah. How about that? Anyway, thank you for my next trick. Anyway, uh, Boeing. Boeing having a hard time. You might have seen this. Notices went out in thousands of paychecks this week that workers may be fired. Can you imagine getting a, a notice like that? You may be fired. They find out for sure next week when they buy a Coke in the company cafeteria. You unscrew the cap. And you're looking at... It'd be, congratulations, you still have a job. Or, sorry, you're fired. Enjoy the great taste of Coke. You know, so. 
course, firing all those loyal workers is a tough job. Fortunately, there's a new product that makes it much easier. <laughs> but we have record profits. Our stock price needs to be higher. We need to be lean and mean. And if you can't do it, I'll find someone who can. Tired of firing loyal workers to satisfy greedy corporate pigs? Now it's easy with new lemon-scented Downsizer. Downsizer makes your toughest jobs a breeze. Just spray Downsizer and watch employees disappear. The only thing left is the clean scent of lemon. Downsizer eliminates costly workers, health benefits, vacation pay, dreams, aspirations, security. You don't understand. I, I'm giving this company the best years of my life. No! For no. tough jobs, spray twice. Wow, look at that stock price. You've worked a miracle. With Downsizer, miracles are easy. Downsizer, huh? Let me look at that. Downsizer. It gets the job done. All right, stay with us. We've got a great show, and we're coming right back. Counseling. And normally I write that up here, but I've been really busy because I got a job, okay? <laughs> and you don't, and that's why you're here. All right, okay. Now, the reason that you were chosen to come to this workshop is that you are the people that when we get your claims, we're like, oh my God, he still ain't got a job? <laughs> yeah, like, like for instance, oh, please tell me that he's here. Uh, Ryan Simpson, are you here? Yes, right here. Okay, okay. We fall out our chairs when we get yours, okay? No, 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 listen, check it out. He's been unemployed for like two years now. No, he's always like, like calling up, like crying, you know, because his wife left him or something. I don't remember, but it's funny, right? <laughs> know what I mean? Like, because he's always calling up, begging for more money, and you're like my dad's age. How old are you? I really don't think I have to answer that. Excuse me? Oh my God, for someone ain't got a job, you kind of snotty. <laughs> Gee, let's see. He's 53. Yeah, you don't have to tell everybody. Excuse me? Uh, uh, listen, how much unemployment do you get a week? $270. Oh, I just dropped to 150. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's too bad. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to drop my kids off at daycare. I'm really sorry. Oh. Okay, is, is that your excuse? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, let's say that you get a job, like answering phones for 911, all right? And you're late one day. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope you're still bleeding to death, okay? <laughs> or like, oh no, let's say like you're working for the ferry, right? And like the ferry, you're like, oh, there it goes. Oh, gee, Mr. Ferry, come back, come back. I'm sorry I'm late. Can't you turn around? I mean, doesn't the whole city stop for me and my daycare? Uh-huh. Well, I was only five minutes late. Oh, okay, listen, stop it. Security! Security! All right, this jobless person's getting all bitter. Hey! Huh. Whew. Hey. Having a job is hard. I can see why you all avoid it. Oh, gee. Okay, now, go ahead. And the forms that were on your chair, you're going to fill them out, all right? Excuse me? Hmm? Can I borrow a pen? All right, when you get a job, you can buy one. <laughs> hey, look at that, my own pen, look at that. <clears throat> okay, everybody, fill out the forms and work silently. Excuse me, excuse me. I, I, I can't concentrate with the music. Guess what? You get a job, you can play music, do whatever you want. It's too loud. It's, it's too loud. How are we supposed okay. to fill out the... You know I what? Can't... 
My patience and your unemployment just ran out. Oh, okay, everybody. Now, we are gonna work on our interview skills, okay? Now, obviously, that's lacking. That's why you're here. Now, I'm gonna need, need, need two volunteers, all right? Oh, look at all the go-getters, <laughs> okay. Oh, let's say uh, you and you, all right? Come on up here. <clears throat> okay, what we are going to do is called role-playing. Okay, role play. Try to stay with me. Okay, okay. okay listen. Uh, all right, so you're the interviewer. So you're asking all the questions, okay? Uh, and you're the one who wants a job, and you want it bad. Well, all uh, right? Yeah, oh, so, yeah, you know that one. That's reality, okay? So, well, what, what, what kind of job is she interviewing for? It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Don't get all like, yippity uh, yippity. Just do the thing. All right, all right. Uh, so why do you want the job? Well, I think that I'm... Oh, oh okay. What? All right, that's sexual harassment. What? Okay, no, 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 no. Huh? He was staring right at your chest the whole time. Well, yes, he was. What are you interviewing for, gynecologist? Okay, no. let's have the filthy old man sit down, and let's get somebody else who's cuter. You, right here. What's your name? Uh, Neil. Mm. Neil Crabtree. Mm. Mm -mm. You ain't got a job. No? Oh my gosh, I got some dull pencils somewhere you can sharpen or something. Mm, yeah! Damn! Wow! Neil, now, I know I said it before, but. Mm, yeah! All right, now. Do what you do. Go ahead, do. Okay. What you do. So, uh, what are your qualifications? Uh, well, I was an administrative assistant at an insurance company for seven years. Did you leave on your own accord? Uh, pretty much. No, yeah. dumb answer. That's dumb. Okay, go ahead. Would you say you're an independent thinker, you know, a team player? Yeah, I think Oh, that... stop it. Stop it, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Y'all so boring. Okay, listen. When you're going to an interview, you gotta like, you gotta make an impression, right? You gotta show them who you are. You be like, <clears throat> how do you do? My name is Samelia. I promise never to fail ya. You do your thing right here. I'm being paid. Everybody sit down, I'm being paid. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay, all right. Hmm, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> and I know what he wants, okay? <laughs> Listen, all right, so why don't you go ahead and um, keep filling out your forms and keep stealing from the government like you've been doing and uh, work uh, silently, all right, here. <clears throat> yeah, hi, baby. I'm coming. <laughs> you... Hi, is that my lunch? Yeah, it is. <laughs> University of Washington President Richard McCormick says the greatness of the university is at risk if they don't get more money from the legislature. But he added that the real greatness of the university is at risk unless they can find a guy who can kick field goals. <laughs> the Washington State Bar Association recommended that former association president Lowell Halverson be suspended from practicing law for six months for having sex with a client he represented in a divorce case. Halverson says the punishment is fair and that he plans to spend the six months having sex with clients. <laughs> Mary Kay Letourneau is due to give birth to another baby in less than three weeks. If it's a girl, she plans to name it Amelia. If it's a boy, she plans to date it. <laughs> you yeah, date it, yeah. <laughs> U.S. News and World Report has ranked Group Health Cooperative as the top managed care facility in the state. The magazine praised the organization for keeping more people from seeing an actual doctor than all other HMOs combined. Well, a Seattle Post Intelligencer poll shows Patty Murray leading Linda Smith 51% to 38% and says, quote, Murray would have to self-destruct to lose. We believe that Murray's self-destruction might look something like this. I really personally um, am very disappointed in the president's behavior. Something like that. Well, 
This week, the Seattle City Council debated whether to make a bid for the 2012 Summer Olympics. To find out what the public thinks of this issue, we go now to Bob Nelson, who has been on the street all day asking people their opinions. Bob, what are people saying? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know, Bob? Well, I, I didn't ask anybody. Well, can I ask why not? Well, they all looked kind of busy. And I figured, you know, they had better things to do than to talk to me. Now, Bob, I thought, did we have a tape of you talking to people? Well, we have a tape, but I don't think we well, need Well, let's, to... let's see the tape then. See, would would no. you roll that tape, please? <laughs> well, Bob, Bob, it, lo yeah. it looks like you're hiding from people. No, I was looking for people to talk to. See there? I'm on the street. But you're not asking anybody anything. Well, I didn't want to bother them. Well, but, but, well, where are you now, Bob? What is that? Um, I'm in the van. What are you doing in the van? Uh, it, just, it just seemed like I was getting in people's way on the street. You know, Bob, maybe someone else should do the man on the street interviews. Oh, no, please. I love doing this. This, this is my dream job. Well, but, I'm, you know, at some point you're going to have to talk to people. I know, John. That's a good point. But if it helps, just from the looks on the faces of people walking by, it seemed like some of them would be for the Olympics, while others would be against them. Hey, uh, what's going on? We on TV? Bob, that, ask that guy. Ask that guy. Hey, is this one of those deals where you, you ask our opinions? Cool, all right, uh, go ahead. Ask me a question. Ask him the question! Are you sure? You know, because if you're in a hurry, I'd understand. No, no, no hurry. Go right ahead. Bob, for the love of God, ask him the question. Okay. What do you think about, and if this is too personal, you don't have to answer. Hey, Bob, 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 we're out of time. Great job, buddy. Oh, uh, sure, John. This has been Bob Nelson reporting. Now back to John Keister. Bob Nelson, ladies and gentlemen, that was Bob Nelson. Well, KCTS Television will broadcast a special high-definition TV program next month called Chihuly Over Venice. It will demonstrate the startling clarity and sharpness of image that someone looking down at Venice with a patch over one eye would see. <laughs> we'll be back with more of The Late Report, but first, let's check in with Tom Brokaw and see what's coming up this week on NBC Nightly News. Tom. Thank you, John. One day on NBC Nightly News, they're tall and lovely with beautiful shiny hair. But then when you get them home and get them out of the box and try to date them, they pop. Monday on NBC, inflatable sex dolls. Why are they made so cheaply? And why do they always have that surprised look on their face like they don't know what's coming? They know the score. They know it's loving time. And if they don't pop, the manufacturer never gives you any clothes to put on them so you can't take them out on a date, like to the movies or... Maybe just out for chicken. Right. Coming up on NBC Nightly News on Monday, inflatable sex dolls. When will they make a better one? All right. Well, thank you, Tom. Sounds like a very compelling report. Tom Brokaw, everyone. Finally, the King County Council has banned school districts from using county pools until they sign a pool liability agreement. Attorneys for the schools say they have seen many legal documents, but never one with so many mentions of the word P. This has been The Light Report. Stay with us because we're coming right back.
Thank you very much. As always, we at Almost Live want to thank you for inviting us into your homes. They're much nicer than ours. And if you'd like tickets, there's the number to call, 421-5555. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.